Stevie Wonder. Um, June 23rd, 1964. The album is Stevie at the Beach. It is Stevie Wonder's fourth studio album. And it highlights the struggle that Motown was having when they were trying to figure out what to do with their artists. This album uh, is not good. There's something interesting about it, and I will talk about that. But, um, but it doesn't... I mean, they tried to turn him into a teenage Ray Charles. They also tried to have him sing, like, Broadway songs or something like that. Um, and now, now they're trying to turn him into a damn uh, uh, sing surf songs. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I don't know why they thought this was going to be a good idea. And since Stevie was a kid at the time, even though on this album he dropped a little, um, you know, he was at the mercy of what the labels wanted to do. Marvin Gaye made a lot of the bad decisions in his early on in his career. Um, he made those decisions. This, the label, are making those decisions for him. But fortunately, they, stu they, they, they stuck with him. And, you know, we, we eventually got some really, really great, great songs and records and, and albums from, from, from Stevie. But if you were around in 1964 and you heard this, you would think this guy wasn't going to make it, y'all. I, I ain't, I ain't going to even lie. But what was interesting, though, is um, you can hear – Stevie's voice change. You can hear, so, you know, he's 13, 14 maybe when this came out. So I, I, I thought that was interesting, hearing him go from that very high-pitched sound to more of that, that tenor that we are, and signature voice that we all know of him now. It was also interesting uh, hearing how Stevie at the time really had a good, good command of his falsetto. Um, on this one, you know, it was still somewhat there, but it wasn't as crisp and clean as it was when he was younger. But he's definitely rounding it to his own. He's going to definitely get into, like, the voice that we all know and love. But, um, but yeah, uh, it's, it's going to take a minute before we finally get there. And these first four albums are a struggle. This one was probably by far one of the worst. And um, and I'm just going to stop there. Um, but still loves hearing him sing. Uh, he's great at it. It's just the songs were not hitting. Uh, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stop there, y'all. Uh, but I think we we right around that corner. I think we are there. And I think with this next album, We'll be off and running. But uh, we have to go through this to get to where we're going to go. And um, that's what this journey is about. So let's, let's keep on pushing. Shout out to Curtis Mayfield.